How's it going guys, Stalin here. In this video, we're going to talk about whether you should do web or mobile in freelance, specifically for business to business. So I got a comment from one of my subscribers and he had a question that basically said, you know, he has a background in energy trading and he's trying to decide whether web or mobile would be better for his situation. So I always like to make videos answering subscriber questions so if you have any questions that you want me to make a video on make sure you leave that in the comments section below so let's get right into it here let's not waste any time and before we get into that actually if you don't know who I am or if you're new to the channel my name is Donald I'm currently a freelance iOS developer and the goal of my channel is to really be that big brother that I wish I had when I started on my uh, coding journey so let's get right into it whether you should choose web or mobile for your business to business clients right so this is primarily going to be a question that relates more to the freelancing side of things but that's not to say that you can't necessarily use it from a uh, from a job perspective you know i've pitched my big ideas in my job you know and i had to do a formal proposal and i had to do a uh you know uh, outline all the pros and cons you know, I had to give an outline of how much this project would cost so that the company kind of knew exactly what they were getting into and whether this would uh, provide them with enough value. And typically, when you're doing a proposal or when you're on a sales call, this is exactly what you're going to be doing is you're going to be diagnosing the situation. You're going to be laying out all the factors and you're going to be uh, trying to determine as the expert what is the best uh, solution for your clients. So obviously this is a loaded question, web versus mobile for B2B in specific, because every business has different problems that they want to solve, right? So this uh, particular subscriber, particular commenter, they basically said they're in the energy trading uh, industry and what they wanted to do was they want, they had a, uh, they had a web framework that, uh, you know, they use React Native, but it was a slow, horrible UI, stuff like that, and they could benefit a lot from mobile. So the challenge here, when you're trying to diagnose the situation, is how much value are they going to get from it, and, you know, which one is going to cause, one, the least headache, two, provide the greatest cost in terms of the greatest benefit, and at the same time being the least cost. Because most of the time when you come in, you come for a consultation or you have an idea, right? People don't, the truth is when you're on a sales call or you're on a consultation call, you're working on a proposal, people don't really know what their actual problem is. Now, why do I say this? Most people just think that something is really inconvenient or it's slow and outdated and they want to get it updated, but it's your job as the programmer as a freelancer to diagnose the situation and see which one's the best for them so in order to do this you need to ask them like you know how would you like to uh, use this product in the field are you going to be using it in the office is this primarily going to be something that you're going to use on a laptop device right do you need access to a camera you know how often are your uh, employees or your uh, or your workers actively accessing the internet are they actively accessing the internet from their phones is there a requirement to uh, do photos for example these are the questions that you want to ask the uh, the manager or the CEO depending on the size of the company or the program manager these are the type of questions that you want to iron out and then from there, what you want to do is you want to see, okay, if I have a situation where my workers are going to be using this in the field, in his case, it was energy trading and whatnot, then, and if there was a use of a camera, for example, like if they take a lot of photos or they need it for, I don't know, manufacturing processes or whatever, then you would probably want to go with a mobile uh, solution. On the flip side, Let's say the most of the time you're going to be dealing with, you know, a more tech oriented company where everything's on the web, on the laptop. Then in that case, what you want to do 
is you want to uh, you might want to consider a web solution and then from there in order to be entirely sure that you're diagnosing and getting the right solution then you want to ask further questions it's like okay you know do you require this information on the go you know is there anything where you had to interact with any uh, would it be useful to you to uh, take photos for example then those are the questions and you got to make a decision whether uh, mobile or web is a better option so for most cases web is going to be a catch-all solution with the exception is if you use a camera you're in the field all the time then mobile might be a better option the reason why I say this is because generally if you're hiring freelancers or you're doing it yourself or you are uh, have a small team mobile devs are going to be significantly more expensive than uh, web developers you know there's a lot of web developers boot camps are pumping out uh, developers like no tomorrow so there's no shortage of them and as a result you know they're gonna fight for price they're gonna have a lower ask in the free market right so those are really the questions that you want to analyze when you're trying to determine whether you uh, want to do web or mobile especially in the field of business to business right so I really hope that answered the question. You know, I wish I could give you a more straightforward answer, but, you know, I really do believe that as a uh, freelancer, as uh, someone who takes their craft seriously, you should be providing your clients with the best solution for their particular use case. Right? So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any topic requests, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next video.